And today we're uh, launching Operation Safe Roads, which mainly will be in the hills area where most of the fatalities with motorbikes have occurred. Um, we make no apologies. This will be a, an operation that uses both covert and overt measures. We'll be targeting speed. We recognise that a lot of motorbike riders do the right thing and follow the speed limit and drive responsibly, but there's that continue to drive irresponsibly through the hill zone. So we make no excuses. We'll be targeting speeding behaviour, irresponsible riding. We want you to go out, enjoy your ride and get home safely. Don't affect other people with irresponsible driving as well. Will police be using the um, camouflage speed cameras as well as part of this operation? Yes, we'll be using a, a number of, um, of methods, both covert and overt. We'll be speaking to motorbike riders at cafes, talking to them about their behaviour, about protective gear, about how to ride safely. But we will also be using covert and overt um, cameras. One of the things about the roads that we're targeting is um, they're dangerously, in, inherently dangerous just because of the way they, they are and it's unsafe for our camera operators to be there. So we'll be still using cameras. Some will be over and some will be covert. So the particular aid group that you find um, has been riding responsibly for this? No, I think it crosses all uh, age groups. 90% uh, are males, um, we know that. Um, and um, we've had uh, vehicles um, and particularly motorbikes uh, well in excess of 30 kilometres an hour over the speed limit. And will there be more police patrols out or will it just be a greater focus in the hills? No, there'll be more police patrols out. There'll be a high visibility of policing. Uh, you have to remember that any police car or any uh, motorbike police officer can stop any car or motorbike and drug and alcohol test them at any time. And so you would be warning um, motorcyclists as well that they could well be pulled over or they're more likely to pull, be pulled over during this operation for a drug and alcohol test? Um, well, they will we'll be doing a high visibility. That there is the likelihood they will be pulled over. This is all about safety. Enjoy your ride, but do it responsibly. Um, speed is a major factor. If you come off your bike and you're at speed, you're very vulnerable. You have very little protection. Um, and so this is about trying to make our roads safer for um, both uh, car drivers, but particularly motorbike riders. And clearly um, getting behind the, the handlebars of a bike if you're under the influence of drugs or alcohol would be an even more risky decision. Absolutely. We, you know, don't get behind the, the wheel or uh, behind uh, riding a bike if you've taken alcohol or drunk alcohol or taken any drugs whatsoever. And while this operation is focused more around motorcyclists, do you have a message to um, other road users as well, just about keeping an eye out for motorcyclists? Yeah, I mean, um, we want motorcyclists to ride defensively, you know, be seen, wear bright clothing, make sure you wear protective clothing, wear a correct helmet, correctly fitted, make sure you don't speed. But, um, you know, motorbikes, as I said, are, uh, you know, vulnerable road users, so everybody needs to take care and drive responsibly. Uh, keep an eye out for vulnerable road users like pedestrians, motorbikes, cyclists, you know, they're, they're much more vulnerable in a crash. How important is it 